you missed a salah, you woke up late, you didn't pray, Fajr, and now you're praying it late. And then that day you had a job interview, and the job interview didn't go well. And you're like, this is because I missed salah. Now the answer to that is, it may be, and it may not be. And there's no way you will ever know. There is no way you or anyone else will ever know. But the thing that will help you is أَنَا عِنْدَ ظَنِّ عَبْدِ بِي The thing that will help me is that Allah says, I will be as you assume me to be. If you're assuming Allah took revenge from you and put this on you because you missed Fajr, then that's who Allah is to you now. If you assume, no, this is better, this, this job, I tried my best, I did a good job at the interview, but this was not a good job for me. Had it been good for me, Allah would have let it go. Allah, Allah would have given me this job. If you have that attitude, then that is who Allah is to you, despite all of your mistakes. Despite you missing, waking up late. Our job when we make mistakes is to make istighfar, not wait for Allah's revenge. Please understand that. Our job is not, oh, I messed up, now Allah is going to get me somehow, it's going to happen. No, 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 no. That's not what Allah does. Which is why Allah says, مَا أَصَابَكُمْ وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ Whatever calamity struck you, whatever difficulty you find yourselves in, a lot of it has to do with what you did yourselves, with your own hands. You brought this on yourself. And even in the spiritual sense, sometimes there are difficulties that come on us because of our deeds. If you are, for example, continuously horrible to your parents, and then bad stuff comes to you in your life, then probably there is some connection. There is some, and then in those kinds of cases, what does Allah do? وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ He says, He pardons a lot too. In the physical world, if I jump off of a second floor building, there are going to be consequences. Allah will not say, no, this time I'll forgive you, I won't break your leg. No, no, it's, it's gonna what's gonna happen is gonna happen. When you put your hand in a fire, it is gonna burn. Allah is not gonna, well, you prayed Fajr this morning, so no, not for you. It won't burn for you. That's not gonna happen. But when it comes to spiritual consequences, He says, وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ When you do a sin, then Allah says, actually, Allah lets a lot of it go. He doesn't just avenge immediately. He doesn't just take, you know, uh, immediate account and then make you suffer in this world because of the mistake you made. He doesn't do that. That's the nature of Allah Azza wa with us. وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ this is something you have to internalize for yourself. I would argue the reason, the, the reason I brought up this particular subject is because um, one of the greatest crimes, spiritual crimes, that occurs every day in the ummah is at the hands of loved ones to loved ones. Parents, spouses, husbands, we have sometimes the, most, the worst things to say to our loved ones. And sometimes we say those things in the name of Allah. Allah will punish you for what you just did. There will be justice on you. Allah doesn't, Allah will not forgive what you, you know. And mother can say that to her child, wife can say to husband, siblings can say to each other. Like invoking like Allah is some angry weapon that you can invoke because you're upset, Allah must be upset. And you can just use Allah like that. That's not our place. And you know, for a lot of people, they have heard this kind of thing so many times, over and over and over again, that they have become far away from Allah Himself. They heard from their loved ones, they heard from their, a, a, a child heard, heard from his father or his, his mother all the time, Allah will punish you if you don't pray, Allah is gonna get you if you don't pray, Allah is gonna, you know, Allah is very angry at you because you ate that cookie. Like, Constantly, Allah is angry, Allah is angry, Allah is angry. When that young boy becomes a 16, 17, 18, years old, 18 year old, he wants nothing to do with Allah. And when he hears Allah is merciful, and Allah is forgiving, he has a hard time believing it, because that's not what he grew up with. He did not grow up with, a, when Allah, with an Allah who is forgiving, or an Allah who is merciful. As a matter of fact, every time he got in trouble, it's because of Allah he got in trouble. That's how he got in trouble. And then those same parents say, we taught this child about Allah from the beginning. I don't know why he's running away from deen. Yeah, but which Allah did you teach him about? An angry Allah? An Allah that seeks to punish? ما يفعل الله بعذابكم? Allah says, what's Allah gonna get out of punishing you? <laughs> That's what Allah says Himself. What is he, what, what is he in just the business of coming after you? Going at you? So what happens with people? They are in a difficult situation, and what do they do? They're constantly thinking Allah is getting them. 
Allah is hurting them. Allah is doing this to them. 